Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh my god, QTs. I'm locked, I'm locked in, I'm so locked in, I'm so locked hey, in right minute, now, Rick, I thought this was a commercial. What, what's going on? I mean, it's just, you know, don't, don't worry about it. Get the, get the flick, get the, get the flick. Oh my god, it's still the commercial. That thing is nimble. Oh my god. Uh... Jeez, surface Rick, elevator? Oh I'm going God. to the elevator. I'm going this to the elevator. Hardcore stuff. I'm going to the what elevator. The hell? As y'all see by the title, y'all know what today is. What's going on, YouTube? K Rob here, bringing you episode four of Until Dawn. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all have been showing me on this channel and on this series. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. Episode three just came out like literally not too long ago, bro. And y'all have been going crazy crazy on that video i highly appreciate every single one of y'all bro especially like y'all in the comments y'all have been really showing so much love bro there be some of y'all in the comments backseating too you feel me hey look listen listen the backseating i'm literally not listening to anything y'all are saying i'm just gonna keep it a buck bro like, like it's nice yo you know what i'm saying you could keep commenting you know it helps me out at the end of the day go ahead keep commenting but trust and believe bro i'm going to play this game how i feel like it needs to be played whoever dies dies you feel me i don't care about no mistakes that i make bro you think i care but this is my first playthrough y'all acting like i'm like a i'm like a veteran at this like bro i have never played this game before and people are like bro why you do this listen i'm just a guy i'm just a guy you know what i'm saying like dang Ooh. but to the people that are really showing some love bro i want to take the time and just say thank you thank you so much without y'all none of this would even be possible bro like y'all are the main reasons why I keep going with this channel for real. People been telling me like these videos been helping them get through some tough times and everything like that. Also, to my people that have been affected by those hurricanes, I am deeply, deeply sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? That is a very tragic, tragic incident that's going on. Um, I hope y'all are okay. Uh, my prayers are with you and your family. Y'all better let them hurricanes know that if they don't stop going crazy, I'm coming down there and literally telling them to back off. I'm telling every single hurricane to back off, bro. Make sure y'all stay safe out there. I love y'all dearly, and I appreciate y'all so much for even in the in the darkest times showing my videos so much love. I appreciate y'all. Heavy. But without further ado, I think today's episode is going to be an absolute banger. You know, we're coming up to the last parts of Until Dawn. Do we get anyone else killed today? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Look, like it's getting down to the nitty gritty. A lot of people are coming up missing, so we don't know. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much once again. And without further ado, let's jump right into Until Dawn. Plug. Chapter 7, Violence, 4 Hours Until Dawn. Come on, man, let's get it. We left off with um Ashley and, and, and Chris. And this is Sam. I'm so glad we didn't get Sam caught, bro. Oh my goodness. She, bro, she had the flashlight on. I'm like, girl, you better turn that off. Damn, like, what son. is she doing? I'm glad we, we were able to turn it off, though. That's crazy, bro. I dead thought she was going to get caught <laughs> if she didn't turn off that flashlight. Strong foot. Dang. With the bear, with the dogs out and everything. All right, all right, Sam. She, hey, she keep that, you know what I'm saying? She keep the towel on, though. I, I respect, respect, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a skill, to be honest. You getting chased by a psycho, and, and you still able to keep the, keep, the, uh, keep the towel up? Come on, bro. You can't tell me that's not a skill. Me, personally, I would have been dropped the towel. I don't care who sees me booty butt naked. You gonna get a, <laughs> you gonna get a face full of cheeks. Huh? I ain't gonna lie, bro. We got some lore here. Is that the Bible? What is this? Show me. Show me some lore, Sam. Ocean View Hospital, Health and Happiness. <gasps> Wait, Josh Washington? Final Psychiatric Evaluation, 5-21-2014. Dr. Hill, confidential. Wait, this is Josh's final psychiatric evaluation. And his therapist was Dr. Hill, bro. Hold up. Let's, let's, let's dive deep in this. What is, it? what is this? Physician history, Jeremy Harris. Okay, referred on 40207 after incident at school. Wait, this is all of Josh's evaluations throughout his life. Cause this goes all the way back to 06. Dang. Okay, he been dealing with something since he was a little little kid. Okay, so this is not this didn't just happen all of a sudden. He'd been dealing with this for a cool minute. Got you, got you. Oh my gosh. Dang, Josh. Josh was really going through it, y'all. And I think that with Josh's siblings dying like the way they did. It kind of like, I don't know, he kind of just spiraled a little bit. But I think he really tried to help by inviting all of us back, you know what I'm saying? Just to like, you know, try to get the vibes back up. But it, 
as y'all see, it's not it's not turning out the way I, he planned, I guess. History of prescribed antidepressants. Fluxetine, 06 to 2010. Patient reported that side effects, headaches, nausea were becoming too severe and wanted to change drug. Deloxetine, patient claimed that the drug was no longer having any effect. Reported that his mood had badly worsened. Amy tried, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. To all my doctors that, are, that be watching this and all my, you know, my health experts, you feel me? These big words that y'all be using, much respect, cause I'm not gonna pronounce any of that. I'm not gonna lie. There's gonna be somebody in the comment section like literally pronouncing it for me. I appreciate you. Am I gonna read it? Maybe, who knows? Phenelzine, 30 milligram dose twice daily, increasing to three times daily after two weeks. If the patient reports any of the following symptoms, please contact a physician immediately. Side effects, hypotension, blurred vision, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle tremors, liver damage, hepatitis, on withdrawal, nausea, insomnia, nightmares, agitation, hallucinations, paranoia, aggressiveness, slurred speech, ataxia, Catania, shocks, bro, whoa. So Josh was on the Phenelzine, 30 milligram dose twice daily, increasing to three times daily after two weeks. I ain't gonna lie, Phenelzine must have been kicking his ass. I'm just gonna keep it a stack, bro. Look at all the side effects. And if you're off of it, the withdrawals you can have, whoa, nah, he was going through it, bro. Josh definitely went out the worst, bro, because his siblings died. He went out with a saw blade to like Lily, like separating his entire torso, bro. And then like he must have been getting hit with the side effects and the withdrawals, bro. Because it's like, wasn't he off the meds for a little bit too? Wait, hold on. This is more a summary of treatment. Patient arrived delirious and confused. Strong symptoms of major depressive disorder related to death, disappearance of sisters. I knew it, bro. I knew he was spiraling after that uh, incident with his sisters. Place patient under observation. ECT was considered given patient's history of tapering drug effects but rejected. CBT, IPT, psychoanalysis, etc. failed to produce any improvement. New course of drugs was necessary. Patient moved on to a non-selective MAOI rationale being that SSRIs and, and, and SNRIs have proven ineffective in the past, bro. Like I said, bro, these terms that y'all be using in the, in the medical field, I would most certainly fail. That's why I didn't take that route. Because it's like, bro, if you throw some initials at me or some big words like phenylazine, I'm cooked, bro. Like, I'm failing every test. Phenelzine, 60 milligrams initially. Higher than average dose was necessary to see reduction of symptoms. After two weeks, patient symptoms and moods were greatly improved. Discharged on 16th May after final consultation proved satisfactory. Dr. Alan Hill. It's so crazy that his therapist was Dr. Hill as well. Oh, what? A, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on. What is this? Psychiatric report. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ocean View Hospital, date 5 16, 2014. That's crazy. My boy went to go get help and they charged him 26 bands. Huh? They charged him 26 bands. Damn, bro. Son. What? Like, I know, I know the family rich, but to get some help and it costs 26K? Come on, bro. Like, bro, really trying to get some help, and they just they just out here charging him to, to, to get better. I feel like everyone should go to some type of therapy. You feel me? I feel like everyone needs to do that, but it's just the fact that the cost of it just is crazy, bro. It's crazy to get some type of help. Like, nothing wrong with going to get help. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's wrong with that. It's just the fact that, dang, it costs that much to get some help, bro. Okay, hold on. I did want to see... Bro, look, Sam's braveness went up too. W, Sam. I ain't gonna lie, Sam. You the, you the goat for real. I just had to look at the psychiatric report real quick that we picked up. It says a psychiatric report on Josh. He's been on medication for a long time. His current therapist is called Dr. Hill. I'm still blown away that Dr. Hill is or was his psychiatrist. That is so wild to me. I knew we were missing something. Hold on. This is... Death oh machine God. plans. Death machine plans. The plans show how a mannequin could be used to give the impression that someone was cut in half. But the person using the machine is really standing safely out of the way. It looks like the machine that killed. Wait a minute. No, wait, 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 wait. I just had the crazy, bro. I just put two it. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I know, I know y'all thinking the same thing. I know y'all are thinking the same thing, bro. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. We gotta confirm it though. Right, we gotta confirm this. Hold on. Messages, Dr. Hill. Tuesday, January 13th, 9.47 AM. Dr. Hill. Hi, Josh. It's Alan. 
I hope you don't mind me texting you, but this is important. I got your email. I don't think that your plan is going to help. I think you need to stop what you're doing and come to see me. Dr. Hill, please pick up your phone. I'm getting worried. Josh, leave me alone. Dr. Hill, are you still taking your meds? Josh, I'm fine. Dr. Hill, it's very dangerous to stop taking your drugs mid-course, Josh. Contact my office to make an appointment, please. Josh, Josh, please respond. Dude, this man, Josh. Stop taking his meds. Now, I vaguely remember, I think we read in, I, I think it was Hannah's diary. And she was talking about how Josh was off the meds and everything like that. And I was kind of like, okay, he off the meds. Did he like, is he is he willingly off the meds? Or like, is he kind of like, you know, taking a little breather off the meds? Like, what's going on with that? But from the looks of these messages here, he's off the meds and he's kind of, I think he's, uh, he's, he's spiraling in, in, in these texts. You feel me? Leave me alone. I'm fine. Like, Apparently not, bro, because Dr. Hill is worried. And it's cool Dr. Hill gave him a personal message, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wonder what that email was about. What was that about? Okay, Josh's cell phone. Let me see that. There are a lot of messages from Josh's psychiatrist warning him not to proceed with an unspecified plan. This man, what plan, bro? This man emailing his psychiatrist plans. What plans are we talking about, dog? Okay, y'all wanna know my theory? Based off of this right here, this right here really, this really showed me something. Okay, I think Josh faked his death. I'm just gonna keep it a stack, bro. And literally everything that we saw from Josh getting sliced in half, all his intestines coming out, that was from the dead pigs that we saw. The blood and everything, pig blood. It's like, it's all staged. If we really dig deep, his family is a bunch of movie freaks. Damn, his son. dad is a, a, is a scary horror movie director. It all runs in the family, bro. He is literally faking his death to prove a point or something, bro. It has to be, and that's the plan. That's the plan that he sent to Dr. Hill, bro. Sam, are you understanding everything I'm saying? Am I making sense or am I just, am I just word vomiting right now? Huh? All I'm gonna say is this right here, this is a sick individual. If everything that is going on right now is, is true what I'm saying, this is a sick individual. And I'm not saying sick because he's mentally ill. Like we know he mentally ill, but the fact, the fact of the matter is he went to this extent. Damn, son. Like, bro, there are people missing. There are people dead right now. Like, if this is all just for a he, he's a ha ha, bro, we got bigger problems. <laughs> There's like monsters in the woods, bro. We got a whole stranger walking around with a damn. <sighs> he got a flamethrower or something, bro. In a psycho? Where is Josh, bro? If you are faking this shit, Josh, where are you, bro? What the heck is this, man? Never forget. Yeah, never forget the people that mattered, bro. Dude, he really trying to get back at these, these people. Rape City. Hold on, I gotta see what that said. A board with lots of pictures and mementos of Hannah and Beth. Whoever made this seems to be obsessed with the twins. Now, that's the thing too, y'all. The person that was saying like, oh yeah, I'm coming back to kill the, the kids and everything like that. The stranger guy, I don't know what's real and what's, that's the thing about this game too, bro. It be messing with my, with my brain logic. Huh? Like my psyche be messing up a little bit, bro. Cause it's like, who is who anymore? I don't know who to believe. I don't know who I should be, I should be questioning. Like, dude, the game just hit like a pinnacle of, of, of theories, bro. I don't know. Is a room over there? All right. What was over here? Snow glow? Wow, this is weird. What is this? It don't even work. Bro, the snow globe don't even work, bro. I thought that was gonna be like a collectible or something. We gotta find the others, bro. That's what happens when we all like alone for too long. We just get got. Look like there's some stuff I could look at over here. Oh, that's a whole other room up there. Okay, it's over here. Sounds like the cycle rehearsing his speech, but suddenly the voice modifier cuts out and someone else's voice can be heard. That is Josh's voice. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I, bro, Josh is the psycho. Josh is the psycho. Josh, that confirms it, bro. That just confirmed to me that Josh is the psycho. What's in here? And he's here. He's here, y'all. Bro, it's him. 
it's him, bro. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. I'm gonna keep that 1% if I'm wrong, just so I can say, okay, look, I mean, I had 1% of, 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 of doubt, you know what I'm saying? 1% of doubt. Everything right now that they're showing me, it's just proving to me that it's Josh, y'all. I don't know. And that's just the psycho thriller aspect of this game, bro. Oh, wait, I think, um, was it Ashley and Chris uh, this way? Yeah, they were. Wait a minute. Okay, last episode I did say that I damn son. Oh yeah, this is the um the mannequin that had the mask on with uh Sam's clothes. Yeah, we're getting close to Ashley and Chris. Jesus. Yeah. Dummy in Sam's clothes. A dummy dressed up as Sam. It looks like the psycho had to improvise after Sam got away. Oh. <laughs> So if we didn't get away, we would have been in this chair. Are you? Are this, is that what they're telling me? Nah, that's kind of that's kind of wild though. Bro, wait, that's the same clown mask that scared me when I was playing as Chris, right? I ain't gonna lie. Mike, is that Mike? What are you doing down there? What the fuck? Oh my! Thank bro, are you scared of me grabbing at my ankle like that, bro? Okay. Uh, where's Jessica? How'd you get down here? Where's Jessica? We're gonna play along. Where's Jessica? She's, she's not with you. Jessica got took. She fell down that elevator shaft. What? He killed her, Sam. This is some maniac. I tried. Trying to kill us, all of us, and I swear to God, when everyone is safe and accounted for, I'm gonna hunt that fucker down and rip his nuts off. Wait until you find out who it is, though. Who it might be. Who it might be, though, Mike. This you know what I'm saying? you're talking about. He attacked me. He showed me these videos, too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Ripped apart by this huge fucking Come on, Sam. Be, be for real, though. All the clues that we just found a little too, a little bit ago, you really so think he Josh did? Is involved in Come all on. This. Wait, what? How? I'm really not sure, but... Thank you. There was okay, she's talking about it. And it mentioned a plan that was like a bad idea, and now he's dead. What the fuck is going on? You gotta mention, you gotta mention the whole, like, There's mannequin thing, though. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? Alright. I'm not gonna lie, Mike. I'm, I'm, I'm really messing with Mike, though. Mike became a badass. After the whole Jessica situation, he became a badass, bro. He's like that hero that, that be in the, um, the scary movies and stuff. Okay. Wait, wait. Before we go uh, open that door, I just want to check to see if we found everything in here. See, look. I missed this. This camera right here. <sighs> Okay, video camera. A video camera on a tripod pointing at a chair. The psycho is collecting footage of what's going on. Oh yeah, this dude really trying to make a movie. Josh, I I see right through your, your tricks, bro. I see right through your lies, bro. It, like it all, it's all making sense now, dude. You think that since your dad was a director, you could just film a, a whole horror movie? I mean, it's pretty good. If we being completely honest, he's kinda he's kinda eating a little bit. You feel me? Like this might this might be, you know, say Oscar worth. Who knows? You feel me? At the cost of people dying, though. You feel me? Like I get, like your sisters died because of a of a, of, of an evil prank. But dude, this is like OD. Like not only are you the problem, Mr. Psycho, but we also got that stranger that's walking around. You know what I'm saying? With them wolves and stuff. And then we got a monster in the woods. Like. We got some other things to worry about right now besides uh trying to make a movie. At least we got Mike back, you know what I'm saying? At least we got somebody with us and we're not just like traveling alone. I love the fact that like now that she has a backpack, <laughs> bro. Hey, she she is rocking this towel though. I got I got to show some respect to that, bro, because it's like <laughs> Hey. Jeez, you look like you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? Okay, I'm glad she pointed that. Like, I'm just saying, like... Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... Right. My bad. Well, what you doing? Mike trying to get himself a little peeky peek. Look at him. What are you doing? Dang, she just teleported the clothes on him? Okay. She just hit that snap. And everything just got, okay, Seen cool. That. I'm into that. What's that? That's a good fit. That's a good fit. Right. Extra clothes in the backpack. That's a good fit. All right. Let's go see what's going on with uh Chris and Ashley, man. Oh, they're both alive. No, 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 no. <laughs> Chris. 
Wait. Oh, Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? Are those blanks? You've heard of blanks before. Yo! I knew it. 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 This game, bro, this game is cool. Girl, you still alive? I'm telling you, oh, if I never like looked around, I would have never known like, Damn bro, it. I would have never thought of Josh. I swear. As soon as I saw that bullet, that uh, bulletin board that showed like the mannequin and stuff and the pig intestines and blood, I knew what time it was, bro. And the fact that like his family is is like directors and stuff. His dad is a director. Come on, man. It all made sense. It all makes sense. What am I swinging? Like, what am I swinging to? What am I looking at? Oh! They got the QTEs off rip like that? What if I missed? I'm not gonna ignore the fact that Josh is a cycler though. That's a, that's a sick fuck. <laughs> they like that, bro. Like, that's OD crazy. That's OD crazy, bro. Yo. You had people make choices and like one of your homies like was trying to kill like literally had a pistol to their head but like, like some of your homies are dead we just girl get up move like well now you can't get something just fell on your ankle what Emily, lock in. I need you to lock in. Matt's dead. Now you gotta lock in, bro. I might like you a little bit more now because you're, you're alone by yourself. You're not doing no toxic stuff with Matt. I might enjoy your character a lot more now. Oh, God. Here goes 600 bucks. Better be worth it. I look great in that top. Is she for real? All right. Now we're talking. What the f- Did she- What did she just- Bro! Did y'all see how she just swiftly made a torch? Damn, son. This is why Emily is different. I'ma backtrack what I said on Emily. I said uh, she doesn't have the street smarts. That just confirms she got street smarts. She just swiftly made a torch, y'all. While proceeding to talk about her $600 top. Like, do y'all see the diversity? Y'all see the diversity in her character? She is very diverse when it comes down to it. We gotta respect Emily, y'all. She, she's here to survive for real. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I would never have thought about doing that. <laughs> I like in, in these type of situations, I don't know if I would even survive. I'm gonna keep it a buck. And we have to remember that monster is down here uh, because it did get mad. So, <sighs> see, see, it can smell the fear, bro. It can, it can smell the fear on you, Emily. You might want to tighten up a little bit here because, uh, yeah. Oh, you got the flare gun too. She does have the flare gun, y'all. We do have to remember that. mine car down here so we're back yeah we deep in the mines y'all bro y'all would tell me about the whole matt thing you y'all were like y'all you should have gave matt the the flare gun bro how was i supposed to know that though like it's a first play th see the thing when y'all be commenting y'all already played the game or seen multiple playthroughs so y'all already know the outcomes bro y'all just be commenting just to comment bro i appreciate y'all opinions for sure but it's like when it's a first time player first time playthrough bro you gotta expect the shaky moments bro you gotta expect the mess ups and all that you know what i'm saying y'all just be relentless <laughs> Holy! Open this mug up. What we got here? Locked. Of course. Of course it's locked. Why wouldn't it be locked? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what? We might be able to push this minecart into the door, right? I think that's what this is set up for. Oh. Is this a mystery chest? What we have in here? Let me see. Hold on. Open that up for me. Some more lore. I'm telling y'all, bro. The clues, they be coming in clutch. A photo of a group of miners called the Blasting Crew taken at Northwest Mines in 1951. They were blasting new tunnels. On the reverse, the Blasting Crew preparing to dynamite the new shafts. Uh, Northwest Mines, December 1951. Gotcha. And that's a totem, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. Y'all been telling me to, uh, to look more at my totems, bro. I know I gotta work on that. I really do have to work on that, y'all. That's on me, my fault, my fault. I gotta like look at the totem. I, I just be forgetting to look at totems. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be forgetting, but. Bro, who did. Is that Chris? 
Wait, is that Chris getting active? Who did he pop? Bro, whole time? Who did he just kill right away? <laughs> that boy Chris out there getting active. Hold on. All right, so a lot of people been saying look at your totems, K-Rod, because you know what I'm saying? That helps you prevent deaths and everything like that. Um, I have a full guidance, full guidance totem, and I have not been checking that out, bro. And then these hunger totems that I have no idea what they're about. But y'all been telling me that the hunger totems are new as well. So I guess I'll find out later what these are. Like they're all first persons. They're all first person POVs. I'm about to say, like, like, put a little pep. We got to get some pep in your stuff. I'm tired of y'all walking around like everything is all hee hees and ha ha's, bro. Not None of this is hee hee and ha ha. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm, I'm doing everything with urgency. I need all of y'all. Every time I play with y'all, bro, I need y'all to, to put a pep in your step, bro. Give me a jog at least. Dang. It's like everybody's so casual. Like, I get there's a monster here, but it's like, dude, I'm trying to get out of here quick. Surface elevator. That look like the thing that um Jessica fell down, ain't it? Like, look at this. Oh, nah. Let's look around before we... The hell? That's the guy, bro. That's the guy I was talking about, the flamethrower dude. In, out, 36. Clocking in machine. This is how mine supervisors knew how many men were down the mine. Uh, the cards are in the in section are missing. Update, the cards had been removed and locked away in a safe in the sanatorium. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's wild. That's wild. They're, they're over here taking away the, the, the clock in cards and putting them in that sanatorium. Now, there's some sick individuals here. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Y'all are wild for this one. But they over here doing test experiments on these on these miners. Huh? I do want to see and check around, bro. Like, this is a really, really big area. So, I gotta make sure I uh, look around a little bit more. I don't want to miss anything. If I do miss something, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to really navigate a game, also have commentary, and also, like, Focus on some other things, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy hard, bro. It's really hard. But I try my best, you know, to, to explore and look at everything that I can. Like this right here. What we got here? Blackwood Mine. What is this? Blackwood Mines. This area of the mine has recently suffered structural collapse. Please contact Foreman H. Tanner. Refer to map 4C8 for more details. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. I saw that a lot of y'all in the last video uh, really like the, um, the Typhoon mining joke. <laughs> Yeah, all my all my Life is Strange True Color fans out there, bro. I got y'all, man. I got y'all. It really does remind me of that, though. Especially this part right here. Uh, seeing Emily fall and, and remembering when... um Well, spoiler for anyone that didn't see True Colors, you know what I'm saying? Um, when Jed shot Alex and then she fell into the mine. This literally, this literally, this literally reminds me of that. I'm just casually walking around. There's a whole entire ladder right here. Do I go up this ladder first? Wait, before I go in this ladder, I, I do want to go in here. Something's telling me like, yo, okay, Rob, you have to go in here first before you go up that ladder. So I'm going to go in here first. If it takes me into a whole different location, I'm sorry, y'all, but I tried. And you know what? It don't even matter because guess what? The door is locked. If you know what I'm saying? Like, hey man, I, I'm telling y'all, I be trying to explore, but if, if, if I can't go any further, bro, I gotta move on, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I think that's a doorway to come out, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't go in the door, but you could come out of that door to get back into this area. I'm going in and get up here real quick. So we gotta worry about the monster. And then we got that flamethrower dude walking around down here. Okay. Nah, it's cool, it's cool. Emily about to get it. This is about to be a bad case for Emily. I'm not gonna lie. We just go deep and deeper and deeper, bro. We just go deeper and deeper. Like, what's going on here, dude? Like, how are we supposed to get out of here now? Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die down here? Hold on, wait. I completely get it. I understand. I'll be doing the same thing, Emily. I'm not gonna lie to you. People be here. I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't be scared. You damn sure would be scared right now. You said you did you see the percentage of her of her phone battery? She's cooked. Bro, y'all know how phone battery flashlights are, bro. They will drain your shit. Huh? Like they will drain it, bro. It's unfortunate that the torch had to get left behind, but this right here, this is only gonna work to an extent. It's a strong flashlight though. Dang. Matt. No 
Nope, don't call for Matt now. It's too late for that. It's too late. It's too late for that, sweetheart. Damn. Nope. Nope. Oh wait. Y'all know what I was thinking? What if we could find Matt's body? This See? He playing around up there. I don't know what's going on, but he just playing around for real. We got the human torch upstairs. Alright. Oh, like somebody's lunchbox. Aww. It's a family man. Hold on. On reverse. Hurry home safely, daddy. Love Agnes and Luis. Aww. Unfortunately, sweetheart, your dad might have been an experiment. I'm not gonna lie to you, you feel me? It, this is like a very beautiful family. It's unfortunate that uh, your your father might have been turned into one of them test subjects. Bro, I just peeped. The amount of things that Emily has been through, that nail polish is not chipped. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. That right there is, it, hey, <laughs> that's staying on, huh? What is that gel? That look good, okay. What we got going on down here? What is this? What is it? Climb? Just climb. Why would we do some leaping? Oh, 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 the QT is crazy. Okay, just keep, just, just keep going up. Just keep going up. I think, oh my gosh. Bro, Emily is teed right now. Emily is teed. I might have missed something down there, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I didn't know what this was. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know y'all gonna be like, you missed something, K-Rob, you missed something. Please, please spare me that. Spare me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's completely on me, though. Y'all see how I be? I don't even know when I gotta, like, go to a different area. It just be putting me in different areas. I for sure can't go back down. I for sure can't go back down there either. So, so we just gonna keep it moving. It's cool. It's cool. Bro, this phone battery is crazy good, bro. I know it's stuck at, like, 1%. <laughs> I think that monster, Matt, hey, <laughs> stop calling for Matt. Matt is cooked. I'm so sorry. See, look, like, I don't know which way it's gonna, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take the left. Okay, and there was a totem here. Okay, I'm glad that we, we took this way. Let me see this. So. Bro, what happened to Emily? Bro, that is a crazy death. She got shot in the eye. Bro, y'all hear that? Uh, what? <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, Emily can still get cooked. <laughs> and it, it's, it's by a bullet. It's not even by the monster. Okay, somebody shoots Emily. All right. Shooting Emily? Who had all that aggression? There we go. Put a pep in your step, girl. Yeah. All right. And then she goes back to, you know. On for fuck's sake. Yeah, I was about to say that. That phone been on 1%. It held out for a cool minute though, I'm not gonna lie. It got us it got us through a little bit of this place. That's a good phone battery. Oh, Jesus shit! Oh, that dude is mad close, bro. That dude is mad close. See what I mean, bro? He just Oh, this is where I dropped my, my torch. Yeah. Y'all see the convenience of that? The phone battery died. And now we back with the torch. <laughs> My girl, my girl Emily on her Lara Croft status. I mean, I respect it, you know what I'm saying? My bad for all the stuff I was talking about you. You feel me? You do got the street smarts too. You book and street smart. I gotta respect it. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God, we have light. Okay. Um, dang, never mind, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna ask if I could go back to that original location that I fell down, but I remember that I fell down a hole, so there's no reason for me to even go back down there. Is it bad that Emily is like growing on me? Like she's been growing on me the last two episodes, I'm not gonna lie. Like I know she's like a very, very mean person to, to Matt, but I feel like her as a character, her personality, it, it just suits her so well, bro. She kind of reminds me of London Tipton a little bit, like when it comes to like the whole like rich girl aspect, but she's also like a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? Bro. She uh, she one of those, like she, she stand on business with people, especially with that whole interaction with Jess too. She came in on hostile vibes, bro. I respect that too. It's like, dang, like she really true to herself. She's not really trying to be somebody she not. Like she really, she really stand her ground when it comes to this stuff. What is that? Is that like a ring or something? 
don't know how we get over there. Yeah, I can't be mad at her for this. Bro, she literally fell in that tower, smacked the glass, right? Smacked the glass of that tower, fell, and then fell some more, got tied upside down, had to swing to get herself, you know, free, got the little torch, made it. Let me, let me, let me say that too. She made the torch. It wasn't just sitting there with it, like ready for her to grab. She had to make that torch. <laughs> and then she like fell again. Bro, she's been going through the motions for real here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep it real, I think I could climb that. I think me as a person, I could really climb that. Y'all know me, y'all know I gotta snoop around a little bit. Let me see what we got going on here. Is that something? Yes, it is. I'll take that, thank you. It's a random picture of Hannah down here? What the Tattoo photo? When are you getting yours, Beth? Oh. That tattoo is a very symbolic thing. <laughs> if we really think about it, that, <laughs> that butterfly tattoo is very symbolic. Lovely. Danger is my middle fucking name. Danger Edge. Huh. Interesting. Quite interesting. Wait! Hannah. This is where they fell. Hannah's glasses. Wait, this is where Hannah and Beth fell. Wait, then where are the bodies then? They never found the bodies, right? Where did the, where did the bodies go? And why didn't they go down here to, to check to see what was going on? Why are there why is there still evidence down here? Marks on the rock. The scratched marks show the date of Hannah and Beth's disappearance in a tally of days. Someone was alive down here for a long time. What? What does this mean? Tally marks. Oh, what we got over here? Hold on. Hold on. What's this right here? Oh, Jesus. A simple wooden cross with best name scratched on it. What? Hello? We not gonna just ignore this? Bro, you know what I, you know what I peeped too about this? She's finding a lot of remnants of Hannah and Beth and Emily's like the main person with this prank, bro. She is getting tormented by all this. This is crazy. Y'all not peeping the writing for real. This is some good, this is a good story right here. So what, can we assume that this was like Beth's grave right here? And who buried Beth? That's what I, that's what I wanna know, bro. Who was down here burying Beth and where is Hannah's body? That boy, hey, dude with the flamethrower going to work, bruh. He's going to town. What's he burning over there? Like, he just keep letting that thing rip. Oh, wait, there was, a, um, yeah. I remember we were looking through this thing over here. What is this? Okay. Oh, to Hannah dead. with love. Wait. Hannah's tarnished locket with a portrait of the Washington family inside. It can't have fallen here. Someone must have moved it further into the mine. Where is Hannah, bro? Where is Hannah's body? Come on, we gotta go deeper in, bro. We finding some good stuff. We finding some more lore friendly stuff, bro. <laughs> some of y'all were talking about uh, Mike in the last episode, finding all the lore in the sanatorium. Bro, I was dead laughing at those comments. <laughs> it's Ben! I'm telling y'all, bro, Emily's getting tormented by all this Hannah and Beth stuff. It's the most, it's the craziest thing to happen to Emily right now. Wait, let me see that, let me see that body. Huh? I'm not, on, like, no, no freaky stuff, bro. I just want to see what the, what the, what the body's on, that's all. Bro, what? Yo. And who propped her body up like that? Y'all see that? Like, y'all see how the body was just propped up like that? This is crazy work, though. Her head is, like, chopped up. Bro, what? It's not even a clean cut. That thing looks severed. Like, it got pulled off. I'm telling you, bro, she must have got caught by one of them monsters, dog. Oh, it's a bed. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I think we're getting closer to Hannah's body then. Hannah's body must be somewhere deeper. We found Beth. It's crazy that no one officially went down here to look at all this stuff because ain't no way there still should be Beth's body down here. I literally just solved the crime. I literally just solved the mystery, part of the mystery. Now we have to find Hannah's body. We found Beth. Beth got put up like a mannequin. That is crazy. Surface elevator. Okay, I guess we move. 
Oh, you know what? This is the um, yeah, it's the area that I was trying to get through. This goes to the main main spot. I guess we'll take the elevator now. Oh yeah, we could. Girl, you better go. Yeah, <laughs> girl, you better go. You better haul ass. Get gone. He got that flamethrower on the ready, though. Oh. Get back. Why you say like that? Get back here. Ooh! Ooh! I'm telling you, she Laura Croft! She Laura Croft! Okay, Tomb Raider? What is that? Is that gas? Burn that! Go ahead! I mean, we lost the... Dang, bro. We did lose the, uh, the torch, though. We did lose the torch. I don't know if that was the play, but hey, it slowed down Buddy, though. It slowed down Buddy. Oh, Turn back, hide? I ain't going back, hide. <laughs> the fuck? I ain't turning back. You must be, you must think I'm dumb or something. I'm good. Boy, back there trying to turn me into barbecue. I'm good on that. Let's just stay where we at. There's another don't move. He sees you. Ain't no way you just sticking your head out like that, like a whack-a-mole. Look. What the fuck kind of hottest spot is that? What the? What was that? What was that, Emily? Josh. <laughs> and now we back to this. This crazy motherfucker, bro. He got some explaining Josh. to do on this one. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> Every one of you, you got my name. <laughs> and after all you've been through, good. Good, 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 this good. Is good. So I mean, how does that feel? This right? plot twist is how does OD crazy, though. Do you enjoy though. feeling terrorized, humiliated? I mean... Panicked. All he those emotions that my sisters got to feel once. I get that. I get ago. that. But it's like a well, deeper. It's something deeper it going on no. here. Nope. No. 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 They're gone. I don't know if you noticed this, Josh, but none of us are laughing. Oh, come, 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 come. Why the long faces? Come on. It's good to get the heart racing every now and then, right? And race they did. I mean, every one of you just pitter pat, pitter pat. I hope you appreciated my little phantasmagorical spectacle. I mean, no detail too small, no opportunity happen? missed. It was such a delight to play the puppet master to to all of your Pavlovian panic. Wait, all that was you know, fake. Gore? I mean, gore. There was gore galore. Fake bodies. I mean. God, that shit was expensive and no retakes. No, this no, is no, crazy. Only double takes. Nah, this oh, was a this, this was a good one though. Hook line and sinker for He killed it on that. Sinker. I gotta give him respect on that. I ain't gonna Josh, lie. Your fingerprints were all over this. It was obviously you. Oh really? Really, really, really? You're crying out for help, Josh. God, you wanted to get caught, didn't you? Oh sure. I'm totally just crying out for help. Help me. Oh, help me, help, help. Come on! Come on, it was just for fun. I mean, so you got a little bit of egg on your face, nice. right? Nobody got hurt. Josh, you, you don't get it, bro. talking about, you asshat? Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you were gonna fucking pay, you dick! Ooh. Oh. Oh. Guys. Guys, come on. Seriously, I did think crazy, he meant you know? no harm when it came down to all this. Like the here, stuff man. that happened huh? to everyone, Why though, it's very us? important. Ah. What are you talking God. about, Ashley? You piece of shit. Mm. Oh. Like this, what this this joke so did go mad. a little too far, but you don't hit a girl. You just don't, dude. Dude, Chris, bro, I, and I'm not your bro. Where are we going? I'm not your bro. Where are you guys guy? taking me? Lock me up, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't do anything stupid before we call the police in the morning. Come on. I didn't do anything. Are, are you serious? Nah, I dare believe though, like he God has no idea what's really going on for real. I didn't do it. Michael, please just listen to me, man. I did not hurt Jessica. Um 
uh, I, I don't think he deserves like the hitting in the face and everything like that. I'm just gonna dismiss it. No, man, you need to shut like, up. what makes us Chris, any better man. than him, though? Come on, you know Chris, what I'm saying? Chris took no part in that in that Stop. little prank. Stop. Don't say that. So Chris is cool in my book. Mike, on the other hand, I almost said Matt. Mike, on the other hand, he was like the main accomplice when it came down to that prank. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? We're no better. You see what you want to see. You're Stop fine. Talking. You are ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. You suckers can't take a joke. Oh, dang. The Did gun to the head, though? Did you just, you feel a little, a little bit of pain? Mm. Right now, I am so, so oh, sorry. God. Stop it. Jesus, dude. Stop. Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I get Mike's I am anger too. If something happened to Jessica, but I swear. Dang, bro, I just don't I think that he knows what happened no to Jessica. He he's telling the truth. I think I'm gonna go with Josh here. We can't trust you. Shut the fuck up. Um, I trust him a little. I'm not gonna get angry. Let's do, let's do some shut the fuck up. How about shut that? Shut the fuck up, Josh. You can't talk. Wait, status update. What does that mean? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Way My bad. Out of this one. <laughs> well, can't we all just get along? <laughs> and he he mentally ill, bro. He going through some stuff too. So it's like it's kind of hard, dicking around. You know, managing no. someone like this. You feel me? This is not how it's supposed. He not all up there anyway, so it, we can't really. You're just a bunch of bullies. You can't hang out a, a guy just to dry like this, guys. Huh? Not like, not like you got the guts to really do anything about it anyways. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> hey, Josh, chill. That boy might trigger happy. You're the coward. You need to shut up. Okay, um, I, yeah, I, just shut up, bro. You really, really, really need to shut up, man. Oh. I'm just saying, bro. Like you in no room to talk right now. That man might got a pistol. I mean, I, I, I don't even know what you mean because I, I don't have anything to regret. Oh my god. He just got, he just gonna keep pissing off Mike. You keep saying slick shit like that, Josh. I mean, it's not gonna end up good for you, bro. You gotta chill on the words, man. Okay, stay still, right. man. Right. Oh, what the? Right. Right. What are we tying? What are we doing? Okay. Yeah, tie him up if they're just wiggle around. Gosh, dude. I need me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight. Okay? That's funny. Come on now. Like, <laughs> he over here trolling. Oh, my God. In God's name. Like he's literally not all up there, bro. Chris and Ash. Chris is an ass. Ash leads the dumb dumb. I'm sorry. What did you say? Well, I said you're a dummy, dummy. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, Ash. Do they have no idea what his conditions are? Oh, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that you liked me. Stop. <laughs> you know what that sound is? It's the sound of never kissing Ashley, you pussy! Stop. Yeah, you know, you might as well let Ashley sleep with my. Hold on, Chris. That's I mean, not your body, though, for real. That's not your body, bro. You know, he'll Chill treat on it. Her right! Fucking pathetic, Chris. I'm gonna beat his head off. Don't listen. Hold on, chill, chill. Chill, chill, hey, Chris, chill. He just talking. Mike, he Mike, just talking. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, what? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened. No. No, I I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. No, nah, I dead ass I mean, feel like he like, doesn't I like feel it. Like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got like a really tight bod. Shut the <laughs> Hey, he telling me to chill. Boy, Mike, you chill. Boy, what the? Yo, yo, Mike, chill, chill, bro, chill. Put the gun away, dude. Calm down. Calm down. Did you think I was going to shoot him? I, I, 
I don't know, bro. Come on, Chris, you know me better than that. Yeah, Chris, you know me better than that. I was just uh, making sure, bro. I don't know where well, your head at. Next time, give me a heads up. All right, bro. Oh, you over here swinging the gun around his face. I don't know what time you want. Cup, bed, cup, routine to work. Leave it to the pros, bros. Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. All right, make sure you good too, bro. He almost popped, John. It's your fuck. Can we order pizza? You sure you're okay? Okay, yes, we can order pizza. I'm kind of you know what pizza kind of sound nice right now. Josh might be on to something. I might leave you the crust. Yeah. Plug. Get back here, bro. Chapter 8. Revelation. Three hours until dawn. Come on. This guy, bro. The stranger. He love that flamethrower, though. Oh! Wait, this is the guy that Chris shot that told him. Flamethrower. Oh, that is that is what he's been using against that monster, right? Is that what I'm getting from that? Cause he could have literally just cooked us right there, but he he gave us some. What is this? He gave us a flare. Oh my God. So we got flares and a flare gun. There's no way Emily dies here, bro. Come on now. We are fully protected. We got so much protection on us. It's actually crazy. She turned into Tomb Raider real quick. All right, let's check in here real quick. Got greetings from Calgary. On reverse, Billy Bates, Blast and Crew, Northwest Mines, Alberta. Hey, Billy, I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary, Loretta. Hold on, who get? Hold on, Billy, you getting kind of freaky with Loretta? Am I even supposed to be looking at this? Okay, this this seems kind of personal. That's not something you just leave around in the mines, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> Well, that thing, I ain't gonna lie, there's gotta be multiple, because there's no way Buddy up there fighting one right now <laughs> and, and didn't see this one. Like, come on, bro. What's going on here? How many how many monsters we got going? That's another thing I've been peeping too, bro. It's not. I don't think it's just one. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't think it's just one of them. They want us to think it's one, but I think there's multiple uh, monsters walking around here. What we got behind us? Always make sure y'all turn around because you never know what you'll find. Like, like there has to be something down here. There's no way they're making us walk this far. Yeah, let me get that totem up off you, my boy. <laughs> this is like the top of a totem too. Fortune totem. Oh, wait, let me see that again. It looks like, wait. It looks like Mike was about to shoot somebody. He was about to shoot Josh. Okay, let's just remember that Mike might shoot somebody and we can't let that happen. Shoot, he might be aiming at one of the cast members, huh? Wait, the totem that we found with Emily, the totem that we found with Emily, she had a, she got shot in the eye. Was it cause of Mike? Hey, to the people that have been telling me to look at them totems, bro, y'all are the real MVPs for real, you know what I'm saying? Without even like spoiling anything, y'all just been like, yo, make sure you're, you're keeping an eye out on those totems, man. Like I'm remembering y'all, I remember, I'll be reading y'all comments, man. Y'all be, y'all be helping me. Like to the people that be helping me without spoiling anything, that's a real skill right there. I appreciate y'all. I just know I'm being followed, bro. That little Spider-Man thing that's hanging around. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all peep that, right? Y'all peep what I just peeped, right? Like I'm not, I'm not going crazy. I just saw Spider-Man run up that wall. Dude, another totem? We just found one. They giving me all the free totems. It's a red totem. Danger totem. Why did it take so long for me to get back into the game? Wait a minute. I gotta see this again, bro. So there's danger if I go into. Okay, so Emily, I already got the flare, so it, this is gonna happen soon. We just we just gotta be on our toes, y'all. This is about to happen right now, bro. This scenario is about to happen right off the totem, bro. Oh my goodness, it's really right next to the totem. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay let's lock in. Let's. It's literally this totem, bro. Okay, come on. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh my God, QTs. I'm locked. I'm locked in. I'm so locked in. I'm so locked in right now, y'all. Just on my neck. Ooh, get the get the flare, get the get the flare. That thing is nimble. 
Oh my god. Uh, surface elevator? I'm going to the elevator. I'm going to the elevator. I'm going to the elevator. Oh, that thing is literally going crazy. Just go to the elevator. That thing gotta work, right? Please work. On everything I love, please work. Please work. Do not fall. Oh, I thought it was dead. <laughs> I thought that thing was dead. Ooh. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, Emily. This is one of the moments you gotta lock in for real. Because that thing is on your ass. That thing is on your ass. Yeah, Emily. I need you to turn into your alter ego. Whatever that is. She threw the... He's hauling though. Ah, come on. Come on, keep moving. Keep moving, M. Ah, is she popping the flare? You see how she moving? Bro, how does she know how to? I ain't gonna lie, she thinking so fast. Yeah, she got street smarts. My bad for the disrespect, y'all. My bad for the disrespect on Emily, bro. She's really locked in. She really on some mic stuff right now. Uh, stay on. Get off, 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 get off. Get off. Get off, just get off, just get off. I don't know where that's leading to, so let's just get off that. Where's the flare gun at, girl? Get the flare gun out. Come on. We're outside, though. That's good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Pop his little stupid Pop your little stupid ass. Yeah, pop your little stupid ass. That's why I keep that thing on me. You're gonna recognize real. Real gonna recognize real, okay? Understand me. Butterfly effect, hold on, let me see this. Let me see this real quick. Let me see this before we get uh Emily escaped unscathed. W, W, I love that for you. I love that for you, Emily. I really do. Come on. Ooh, ooh, they kinda, ooh. <laughs> she going stupid. Look at Emily. Ooh, that's not going stupid. Girl, after this is all said and done, you're going to need a good chiropractor, okay? Because the way you've been falling, <laughs> this has been, you're going to need chiropractor, psychiatrist, all that. I think all of y'all going to need some type of therapy after this, no cap. Plug. Dog, I'm not going to lie. She out, she's out running that monster going, bro, she just outsmarted the heck out. They would have they thought Emily would have died in that situation. Not my Emily. Shoot, my Emily is really on that type of timing. What now? I better open that. Yeah, you better start calling your name to let them know who you are. They not opening the door for anybody. Call your name out. Oh my God! Shut the door. I'm, are you all right? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. Are you okay? You totally won. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's out there. Did you guys split up? I'm on the monster. Um. A monster? Wait, a monster? What are you talking about? I said there's something out there. Charitable, curious. Okay, Man, he not that charitable. He he not cool with Josh like that for real. I mean, he's cool with Josh, but it, it went down a little bit. That's all right. That's cool. Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. That thing was running on fours. Where is Matt? Uh, okay, what happened? What happened? What happened? Em, we're not can you tell us exactly right what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. I like that sequence with Emily, though. Because she saw where Emily and Beth and fell, found, found Beth. There was Beth's head. Yeah, Wait, what? that was tormenting, Beth's bro. Head, I found oh it. my god! What the? Fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. It's crazy how Emily was the one that there. found that too. Oh Jesus Christ! But the worst part is, I don't think that Hannah died like from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like starving to death for weeks. The tally when marks. We were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. But we never found Hannah's Listen, body. In in the tower, there was there was a radio, and and I got through to someone. But then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God! Yeah, yeah, Mike. barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily, 
Hey, Em. Whoa. Who, gonna, who, who not going to know like the police? Oh, what the f This better be Jess or who else is Sorry, I think Jess, yeah. I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Right, you the one with the gun, buddy. Oh, it's the it's the stranger with the flamethrower. I like it that he turned out to be a good guy though. He he was helping Emily with that uh, with that monster down there. Give me the pistol. I'll cover the door. Okay, I'll cover the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? I trust Mike with that pistol. Come on, man. Just in case Just he wants to do it already. Funny. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. <laughs> I'm, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> nah, Mike and Chris are funny, bro. I like I like these two. These two are funny, bro. Okay. Damn! God! Dude! Hold on there. You were supposed to blow that thing! Come on, Mike! You saw he just... Bro, he kicked in the door! Alright, alright! Just take it easy, Grandpa. That dude right there is a vet, bro. Everybody, just calm down. He is battle ready. He got the scar over his eye, too, and everything. Yeah, he not, he not nobody to play with. I'm here to tell you. What you're up against being back on this mountain. You look like he's ready for, for a zombie you apocalypse. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Or responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain. Uh, I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, you <did. laughs> the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him That's out. what I said. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off This my dude look like a, the See? type of person to tell good stories, though. You. Like the, the good He's scary guilty stories. Shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. Right, Mike, shut up, there bro. Tell us some lore. Is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh crap. Wait. <laughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Ah, uh, guys. You know what I'm saying? I ran off and left Josh when, when I. When they say the name of the game or the movie in the movie or game. Where did you leave him? W. In the shed. Ah, uh, your friend will already be dead. No, no, he, he can't be. We we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. All right, whole time. Josh is cooked. There, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. Dude no, is tied up you down, like he bait. Let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You going alone is suicide. Man, no, yeah. You take take old man with you. The rest of you. Oh, man, get got the flame the door. Boy, you safe. Don't, Chris, we don't take him with you. again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Shoot, I do. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? All right, bro. Uh, All right, shoot. It's yeah, your place. I, My please, bad. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. You know his breath hot, bro. That thing got to smell like 10 cans of bounce that ass. You feel me like, come on, man. You know his breath hot, bro. Holy. Where did he get the shot? Wait, hold on. This what is the, the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. Where did he take that I shotgun know from? It's a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. Looks could hey. be deceiving, bro. I'm just telling I'm you that right safe. now. Come on. <laughs> hey, son. I uh. <laughs> see you soon. It's never a goodbye. It's a see you later. Bro. You feel me? Come on now. Come on now. You're the expert on these things. Let's go, Chris. Uh, what's, uh, I just gave Chris a confidence what's booster. The guy gotta know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. 
How about you be careful? You follow my lead, stranger. Did you not just see what just happened right there? I just got a kiss. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, and it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. Oh. That's gross. Okay. Damn. Oh, my bad. I'm gonna bump into you. My bad, dude. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I just want to see, mean, bro. Can you figure out what they're going to do? Well, they anything different around here? Like any animal. Or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? That's the same stuff. Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, respect. Yeah. I respect it. Pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based oh. on changes of movement in their field of vision. So you stand so, so they can't see you. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. That might be some good info, y'all. If I'm, like, in the face of a monster or something like that, or, like, they're anywhere near me and I don't have anything to protect me, I gotta... I just can't move. If these things... Wendigos... are or, or were human, do they, do they still have... Bro. Bro. Damn it, what happened? Dude. Oh, he's gone. They ripped him <laughs> off that pole, bro. Oh my gosh, we gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> Man, forget Josh, bro. When you go, he'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. He's fighting. He's trying to use scare tactics on, on Chris. Chris, he hey, bro. He keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. Well, Lord, let's not find out yeah. what's got to happen. Let's like, go now. Hey, let's just go, bro. It Come might on. still be near. He think he invincible with that flamethrower, bro. It's cool though. Like I, I respect it. I respect his game. Wait, what's over here? See, look, I've never been over here before. They want me to to just walk away from all this. Hold on, what we got over here? Anything? I can't really even see over here, dog. I can't even see, y'all. Hold on, yeah. I don't think there's anything over here. I do want to look in here though a little bit. Let me see. Anything of a use that we can uh? Somebody took a chunk out of that chair though. <laughs> That's all I know. Somebody took a chunk out of that thing. All right. What's in here though? Oh, this is the saw play. Oh. <gasps> Yeah, oh my goodness. He was in there. Ah, oh, nah, that's so crazy a Josh, though. It's actually very, very smart. I'm not gonna lie, bro, because that looks so real. That looked mad real, bro. But I just knew something was up, because I, I was trying to, like, really understand what was up with the, the pig stuff. But, man. Forget it. <sighs> Dude, and then the saw blade with the, the business card that was at the front door. This was all st strategically planned. Oh my gosh. And it was like all under my nose. All of it was under my nose, bro. And I didn't even peep it for real. Wait, don't move. Very quiet. Okay. Yeah. It's on our next. I think it's on our next, y'all. He moving, stop moving, stop moving. Oh. Back. Back. God damn. I'm going right out in the open. What Not do we do? What do we do? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> and that's from the totem, bro. And it made me think that he shot the stranger, but nah, he just got dang. Shit. Just go, Chris. Oh! Shoot him! Oh my god, oh bro, 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 bro. Oh, I gotta lock in. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Ooh! 
Okay, the little tactical roll. I messed with it. Oh! Yeah, suck it. Talk your stuff, Chris. Start calling out right now. Get that door open right now. Get that door open right now, dude. I better have enough slugs. I better, I better have enough slugs because there's gonna be a fight. Come on. What's up? Make back up. Oh wait. I should have shot the um. Should I have shot the the tank, y'all? Because it's 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 not messing with fire. Is that even worth it? Shout out to Ash for sta standing by the door for it. W Ashley. Oh. Oh my gosh. Was that Josh? Oh my god, guys, thank god. My man was getting dragged face first in that snow. Yeah. Statement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Yeah, he's cooked. Yeah, he Like not Lily cooked, but happened. His head is probably being used as a bowling ball. I'm not gonna lie. Right in front of me. Oh god. Yep. Yep. Alright. These all the doors. He was cool while he lasted, though. You, sure? you know what I'm saying? He gave us what some tips, for? some tricks. Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, Bro on the radio I said mean, that he was coming. Right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then we're shit out of luck. Dang. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not I'm telling you, he was... What is this He place? was set. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? It was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there'd been some like big cover up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's weird how much crazy shit's going on up here. Nah, it never What's changed, weird Emily. Is that I ain't gonna a lie. Leading from the she lodge is a to character. The sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. <sighs> shit. Fuck, fuck. You guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Alright, Mike. Shit, like... I feel like somebody need to go with him at least or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. What the... What's Ashley sidestepping? What, what, what's on your mind, Ashley? I thought that... That he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? No, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. Oh, I don't know now we're Ashley. We oh, journal cannibalism. Only a few men have dared to hunt the monster. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. Monster must be contained. The monster grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, 
When he has eaten nothing for many days, the monster spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled out across the bones. Wait. So this is how you become one of the monsters is by cannibalism. Oh, and that's what the guy was talking about too. He was kind of like explaining that a little bit too. Wait, let me read some more. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. The shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in There's ice. There's a lot of history to this. Bro, what's up with Ashley disrespecting me when I read? Like, I know sometimes I'll be reading slow and like, I'll be messing up some words, but dang, can I go, you know what I'm saying? The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released and that's why it collapsed. Oh my goodness. The monster's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. This the says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Wait, the monster's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The monster sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the monster will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the monster are hard, like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Okay, that's what we did with Chris too. Because the monster is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six monsters. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a monster should be the last resort. Death releases the monster spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. So this dude was like a private exterminator for real, bro. He was out there like Lily monster hunting for real. That's crazy. Like you could you could tell. Trust and believe, bro. He looked like one of those. One of those for real. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers, I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the monster at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the monster grows from the bite of another monster. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh. Um. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? So you gotta like fully eat to become a, a monster. Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've gotta get the mic. Like now. Interesting. Plo! Joshua, you should have listened. So to me Josh was the because of was the psycho that we were talking. Oh my gosh, bro! It wasn't I don't us. Know which it was actually Josh. Actively triggering events that lead and to the whole scenery has changed, changed, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? Are you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Oh. You came <gasps> Dang. terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? 
I feel bad for Josh, though. Why? Like, did even though he did me? all this stuff that was messed up, I Joshua, something just is telling me I, I can't really feel, I can't feel mad at him. You know what I'm saying? I just, I pity him for real. Um, I didn't hurt anyone. They hurt me. Uh, I mean, they did hurt him. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Mm. It was just a game? <sighs> it was just a game. Doesn't It just doesn't sit right. That's not a good response. I'm going to just say I'm so sorry. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. A second chance. Wait. Josh was remorseful about his actions. Okay. And that's your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from. Something even worse than death itself. Well, there y'all have it, y'all. Episode 4 of Until Dawn. Insane two chapters, bro. Insane two chapters. 7 and 8. Those two went hard, bro. Those definitely two went hard. We found out that Josh was a psycho. We found out more about the monsters. Bro, this has been crazy. This has been crazy. R.I.P. to the stranger. Turns out that he was helping us this entire time. And you know what my theory is, bro? Beth and Hannah, what really got them to run for real, to run away is that they were being chased by one of those monsters. That's what happened. They were being chased by one of those monsters. And then, cause I remember like, it was some type of vision. Cause the visions that we see, like the first person POVs and it looked like, like when I was saying predator vision, that's the monster, bro. That's the monster that, that be looking around and stuff. I was thinking like, that's the stranger vision. Like, I don't know why, or like the psycho vision or whatever, but that is actually the monster. And when they fell off the cliff, the guy came with the flamethrower. He was trying to save them and it just, it just didn't work out that way. Also, now that we know that the psycho is Josh, that entire time with the whole Dr. Hill stuff, I think that when we were when we were doing the first couple therapy sessions where it looked normal i feel like it was like a normal it was an actual therapy session you know what i'm saying but when it started to get a little bit darker and sinister i think we got into into josh's head a little bit like that was all in his head for real like he was like he was like thinking of the worst and it was all dr hill like talking down on him and everything like that so he was he, he's going through something right now he's spiraling and we can tell bro he's been off the meds too so we're actually seeing like a pov of josh and how he's spiraling out does that make sense i don't know i'm kind of word vomiting a little bit i, I get it. i'll be yapping sometimes but that's what i'm thinking is going on here too w chapter bro i got literally be on the edge of my seat every time i play these i play these chapters bro going from the clues all that stuff the totems like there's a lot of things in this game you gotta be really you gotta be in tune with or else you're gonna miss something very very important i felt victim of that a couple times already you know what i'm saying but like i said first playthrough it's always gonna be a little shaky you're always gonna miss something you know what i'm saying so it is what it is at the end of the day bro but i appreciate y'all so much for the for the ones that have been very very helpful in the comment section i appreciate y'all y'all do not understand how much that means to me uh thank y'all so much even without spoiling for real y'all are bro Blessings to every single one of y'all, for real. Thank y'all so much once again. Like, share, subscribe. Also, follow me on my socials. Everything will be down below in the description for y'all. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one.